G'day guys, today what we're going to be doing, we're going to get rid of the yellow teeth on the face. Now, the best way we can do this is with Photoshop 2019. I was going to do it with the other versions of Photoshop, but for argument's sake, we're going to do, pretty sure you can do this with other versions. Now, there's a couple of little techniques that we have to do here in relation to channels and uh, layers. Okay. So the first step, what we've got to do, go into the layers on the right hand side here, as you can see, we've got the background. That's the image that's already up. Now we're going to duplicate that, so we're going to right click that and duplicate layer. Doesn't matter what we call it, background copy, that's fine. That's no problems at all. Okay, now we've got it selected, this one. Now on the bottom here, we've got on the bottom of the layers here, create new fill or adjustment layer. Click on that and what happens, you've got all these different selections. Now you want hue and saturation, so we click on that. Now what's going to happen, we're going to come up, it's going to come up with this, all these different colors and everything else. Now it's set to master at the moment, so the thing is, what, what we're going to do, we'll just zoom into what we're doing here. You don't want to change that yet because look, the whole entire face changes. Okay, so we'll just go back to normal, what it is. Now, on the top left here of this thing here, is that little, see that little finger? And it's got click and drag, modification, saturation. You click on that, and then what happens, an eyedropper tool comes up. The eyedropper tool is going to sample the color that we're going to change. So we're not going to change all the face, because it's a pinkish color, we want the yellow. So we're going to go to the, the darkest part of the yellow here, we're going to sample that. And straight away, this little slider here samples the color that we just picked. Okay. Now, if, now in the next step, what we do, we get the hue and saturation, and then the saturation. We get these two right, and we push them up to the side, or to the right. So the saturation, we slide it all out to the right. Now look at the picture that was happening. You get all this pixelated stuff and all that. It's actually outlining all the dark yellow. Okay, now the hue, we're taking that up as well. And see how it's going real greenish color? That's what we want to do. We just want to select that area. All right, now we, what we're going to do here, we're going to, on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this little slider bar here, this one, we move this up, and it's going to change the luminosity of what we're selecting the color. And on the right, left-hand side of the slider bar, it's another one. See, if we go too far, it does the whole face. So we don't want to do that. Take it back down, back down, back down. I want to get it so that none of this is all pixelated, all this type of stuff. And just this area is highlighted, it's real green color. So that's more or less like what we want. So we've got little bits and pieces here and there. That should be okay, but what we'll do is just take the slider back down. Okay, that's good enough for us. Now we go back to the hue and saturation and we put that back into the middle. Now what's going to happen, we've still got this all selected, all the yellow. Go to the lightness. So we've still got it all selected here, it's all pre-selected. So watch what happens, we lighten it up. Watch, look at the teeth, what color the teeth are, the yellow now. There, nice and bright. Look at that, look at how bright that is. All right, guys, so that's basically how to whiten the low teeth. Now, I'll take the layer off so you can see what it was like before. I'll put the layer back on. Right. Now, as with all other photos, when you're working with layers, if you want to save the picture so that you can use it elsewhere, like Microsoft, you know, like uh, anything, multimedia, friends, whatever, email and all that, We've got all these layers here. So what we're going to go up to, we go up to layer at the top here. And we're going to go to flatten layer, which is right on the bottom here. Flatten image. All right, so now the background is just the one picture. That's it. And then you can just go up to file, save as, and save it as what you, whatever you want to do. All right, guys. That's how you get rid of yellow teeth in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.